guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel and by the way there is makeup on my sweater cuz I'm an idiot and I was like I'm gonna wear this sweater but I'm a dumbass cuz my skin's mad dark and you can tell so I act like it's not there but make sure you guys leave a like on this video and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys know every time I drop a video and are notified a giveaway is coming soon I'm gonna say that in every video <laughs> So you guys are like, where's the freaking giveaway already? So let's get right into the videos. On today's video, we are going to be doing a mini controversy palette review from Jeffree Star Cosmetics X Shane Dawson. This retails for $28 on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. It is still sold out. I think uh, it'll probably be sold out until 2021, let's be honest with you. But you guys saw my last video. This is what the palette looks like. And then I'm just gonna show you guys the color story again. Mine fell and broke, so this is the color story. We have we have flat Earth, cry on my couch, my boyfriend's purse, controversy, diet root beer, my apology, exposed, canceled, and the simulation. The color story. I mean, it depends who you are. For some people, this color story could be like really confusing, but I don't really think it is. It's pretty evident to me, like what the color story is here. But we're not gonna do any swatches. I don't really do swatches. I also have the Shane Gloss in the gloss lip gloss, you know, from Jeffrey Star Cosmetics as well. We're gonna be checking. We're gonna be checking that out too if it's not broken. By the way, I've been using this shit for mad long. So we're gonna act like we don't know why it's half empty. Yeah, I mean, let's just get right into it. I already made the mistake of doing my base first when I should have done the eye makeup. Then my base, but let's hope I don't get fallout under my eye like in the last video. Let's all pray for me. Wait, how did you guys like the last video? Leave a comment down below what you think my next video should be because I'm always mad indecisive of like what I should do for my next video so leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are. make sure to check out my podcast the of the podcast on anchor spotify and apple podcasts as well I will leave the link in the description down below there's episodes every single Monday so make sure you guys go check it out if you get the chance it's really funny and really interesting let's take some powder put it under my face We're just gonna put some Morphe eyelid primer on our eyelids just to prime our lid. The reason you wanna use an eyelid primer is because your eyelids, well actually your whole face creates an oil called sebum or sebum, I don't know how it's pronounced. But as you know, like we use oil products to take off our makeup. So sometimes when your lids create too much of that or your face for a matter of fact creates too much sebum, it can strip the product there or it can make like eyeshadow not catch on your lid so that way if you put a primer you create a barrier between your natural oils from your skin and the eyeshadow so it lays on a nice natural not natural but like so it lays on a nice flat surface that it won't be subject to change <laughs> fucking some chemistry i'm saying over here so yeah let's get right into it <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with a Jeffree Star X Morphe JS6 brush and I'm just gonna take Cancelled right here and I'm gonna just put that all over my top portion of the lid like this right there and you're just gonna blend that out and there's not kickback is nothing crazy on this one the fallout I don't see any yet and this is what I was talking about in the BoxyCharm video that that palette had so much fallout and I don't really work with palettes that have fallout like there's not a lot of kickback with this one. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. 
the palette was right in my hand and I went down to the table to dip my brush again when it's literally right here. Cause I'm crazy. I never do blue cause I'm not a fucking smurf, but this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 433 brush. And I'm gonna go in with Cry on my couch and I'm just gonna take that on the outside of where I took the blue just to like fade it in and blend it in and get a nice blend. Oh whoa, that one had a lot of kickback. But it doesn't surprise me, it's matte. It's a matte neutral. That looks too nice. So unless your name's Karen and you're vegan, you probably have like these types of brushes and then you probably have these types of brushes. So these guys are better for blending and then these guys are synthetic and they're better firmer for putting down shades, especially like shimmer shades. It'll work really nice. I'm just going to go in to the simulation and I'm going to place that on the outer end of my lid. So like where I just placed that blue, like right here, we're going to place that. If you have this palette, be careful with the shimmers, big chunks of glitter. And if you don't have that setting powder down, it's, it's over. But, so I've laid down, canceled all over my lid, and then I put the simulation right at the outer end of my lid, if you can see. And now I'm just gonna cut my crease. So I'm gonna take my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer, and I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna cut my crease. Um, ciao. Anyways. Now that I got, uh, now that I got, I've cut the crease, I have a Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush right here, and I'm just gonna dip into Flat Earth, which is the first shade, the baby blue, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner, so right here. And actually, right before I do that, I'm actually gonna take this, so I'm, oh, I'm gonna take the brush that I put that blue down, the, sorry. The glitter blue, this one, the packing brush, and I'm just gonna blend where I laid down that concealer to cut the crease and that shimmer shade just so they blend seamlessly after I lay down the baby blue. Now I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe Fa M330 and I'm just gonna unite everything. I'm gonna take a Morphe 165 brush and I'm just gonna dip into back into canceled this one and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lid to smoke it out. And that's one eye complete, I believe. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, add some liner, pop on the lip, and we're going to be done. So, this is the completed eye look. It looks really nice. I don't usually wear blue, but like, it does look really nice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but we're just gonna finish off the look. So, in spite of all the blue, we're gonna take we're gonna use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Brain Freeze Skin Frost Pro Palette. I'm sorry, but this palette fell as well, so if you're triggered by damaged makeup... No! Click off now. So, this is her, and we're just gonna go with Freeze Tag. I'm gonna take a Morphe 431 brush, and I'm gonna go in with Freeze Tag from this palette. I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner to finish off the look. I'm just gonna line the lash line of my eyes so that when I put lashes and mascara on, it gives that effect that it's thick. Real thick. We like them thick and plump. Carry it! Queen. So I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner Quilt Pen, whatever it's called. Um, eyeliner Liquid Liner. Something like that. Who are you? I'm pregnant. So, I got the lashes on, and I lined my thing. That is all done. So we're almost complete. So I'm gonna line my lips with this NYX lip liner crayon in the color mauve. 
And now we're just gonna finish this off with a lip. So I lined my lips. Now we're just gonna finish this off with Christmas cookie from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna put that all in the center. So oh, this is the completed look with the mini controversy palette. Oh wait, actually, one last thing. We are going to go in with the gloss from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Like I said, I've already used this guy before. So, looks like this. We're just gonna take that, put it over. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a completed look, guys. So, for the mini controversy palette, what do I think about this palette? It is terrible. <laughs> No, I'm joking. It's like any other Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. It's amazing, you know? Not every shade is like a bang out of the park. Like it's not every single shade is a to die for, you know? The Flat Earth, the one I put in my inner circle, it was at first I tried to use regular blending brushes, but it just wasn't sticking to my lid. So I had to go in with a packer brush and I really, really had to pack it in there. To be fair, it is a really opaque baby blue. So like how much pigment are you gonna get off? But it was kind of difficult. Cry on my couch is really, really pigmented. For such a transition color, it's so pigmented, but it has a lot of kickback. Again, that's not a big bad thing for me. I know most eyeshadow palettes to get very nice eyeshadow colors, it's gonna have a good amount of kickback. The other color I used was Cancelled. Cancelled was very, very nice. Most blues sometimes can be very patchy sometimes, especially vegan blues, and it wasn't. It was amazing. It blended amazing. Everything was amazing about it. Same thing for the simulation. The simulation is beautiful. It's freaking everywhere on my desk now because that thing just kept coming off on my brush and I kept inhaling it. And the gloss is amazing as well, of course. Like, how can you go wrong with a clear gloss that tastes like root beer? But that's it for the full look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good weekend, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, Open it. What does the button do? This is what the component looks like. How do you make the box open? What is this? Is this a button? Oh, you just open it like that. Bruh. It looks like that. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? That's really, really nice. Alright. Let's. Ooh. It's magnetic too. You see? You have to lift it. Ah, so let's take a highlighter brush and yeah, let's go for it. So I'm just gonna go in. I mean, I see it, but it's like, it's barely there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, barely existed it looks like very weird on the skin like i don't know it highlights the texture a lot on your face that's that's first like it's highlighting my texture so much no it's because i like to highlight my nose really nice and i don't think this is gonna do it for me I'm gonna use my finger i'm gonna give this away <laughs> Guys, leave a like and a comment down below to win a giveaway. <laughs> no, I am doing a giveaway though. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. A bunch of you in the comments are gonna be like, we don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's not the best. No tea, no shade, all pink lemonade. Is not it. So the next item is the Ace Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. Ace? Asa? Ace? Ace? Ah, what? What does that say, Anaya? What? No. What? <laughs> <laughs>